human evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Taggart. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph scientists could cover it up. I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second, as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Seraph and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation vote, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive. And it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against Humanity Front. And you are our prime suspect. You're right, it's not enough to get a conviction. But it's enough for a search warrant. That's all I want, Taggart. Why are you standing in the way? I'm not. I'm trying to protect... Look, Mr. Jensen. My heart goes out to you. Perhaps it's best that you came to me rather than bringing this recording to the police. You need it to be some kind of proof because you're still suffering. You're trying to find someone else to blame for the emotional trauma you experienced when you woke up from that surgery and discovered you were no longer quite human. You're right. Picking up my life after that surgery was the hardest thing I've ever done. Hell, first time I saw myself in a mirror, I smashed the damn thing. But I've gotten past it, because I know that what I need to do to make things right is help the other victims of that attack. I'm... I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be insensitive. As you know, I was a practicing psychologist before I devoted my life to ending the threat of augmentation. And I've seen this kind of behavior before. You're confused. You consider me your enemy, and you think the only way you can regain control is to defeat me in some way. You're wrong. Of course I want control. Every time I touch something, I wonder, just for a second, every time, if what I'm feeling is real. It's a bit like being in charge of an organization, I bet. Do you always know what the people at Humanity Front, your people, are doing? In my organization? Well, most of the time, I suppose. From the very day I founded Humanity Front, I made it clear that the group would be devoted to non-violent resistance. To deviate from this would mean dishonoring the memory of the very woman whose murder caused me to found the organization. Mr. Jensen, how can you possibly accuse me of doing otherwise? I know about your wife's murder, Mr. Taggart, and how it led you to start Humanity Front. I've lost someone close to me, too, but I have a chance to get her back. If Sandoval is involved in Megan's abduction in any way, he dishonored your wife's memory. For her sake, and for the sake of my people, I need to know where he is. All right, Mr. Jensen. You're right. For Marjorie's sake, I can't risk tainting the integrity of what I built in her name. 
I'll help you find Isaiah, and I pray that you are wrong about him. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but I'm going to have to beg your indulgence for a few moments more. If you will all please remain patient, I will return as soon as I can. Thank you. Mr. Jensen, I'll see you backstage. 